Back to basics, back to basics, back to basics, back to basics, back to basics. Look, repeating. Decimals. 4.1 with a line on top. What does that mean? Oh, 4.1111111111. Fun fact, if you have repeating decimals, however many numbers are repeating, and in this case one, and in the middle one it's three, and in the third one it's one, you write that repeating decimal over as many nines. For example, 0.1 is repeating. So you put one, you put one over a nine. Four lives in front. Dunzo. Look at the fraction. Can I simplify one over nine? Nope. I'm done. Second problem, I have 0 0.510. 0 0.510 repeating. That's three numbers. So I'm going to put it over three nines. Don't forget the 11 in front. Can you simplify 510 over 999? Yes. You can actually divide the top by three and the bottom by three. 510 divided by three, sorry. 510 divided by three is 170. 999 divided by three is 333. Can I simplify those any further? No. 0.5 is repeating, which is one number. So I'm going to put it over 9. Can I simplify that? Nope. Make a negative. Easy. Easy. That would be negative 0.5555555555. Oh, look, more repeating. So 0 0.77777 is the same exact thing as 0 0.7 with a line over it. And if I want to turn that into a fraction, you would make that 7 over 9 because it's just 1 7 being repeated. So put it over 1 9. 0 0.23, 0 0.23, 0 0.23, 0 0.23. Put 2 3 with the line over it. 0 0.23 if you need to have that 0 there, which you don't. That's two numbers repeating. Put that over 99. Can I simplify that? No, I'm done. Put 85 repeating, so 0.85 repeating. Put a zero in front of it if you have to. That's two numbers repeating. Put it over 99. Can I divide anything by three? Nope, I'm done. Fast and fun. Bye.